According to latest media reports, the DRDO is set to conduct a crucial test of intermediate range K-4 submarine launched ballistic system today. The 3,500 km range indigenously developed system will be tested from the indigenous nuclear submarine INS Airy Hunt, and this test assumes significance as it will pave the way for its early induction, and boost the development of its 5,000 km range K-5 system. According to latest media reports, the joint venture firm between Larsen and Tubro and MBDA Missile Systems have submitted the bid for Indian Navy's short-range surface-to-air system requirement, and has offered the latest generation Sea Scepter Naval Air Defence System with local production. The joint venture firm has also offered its latest generation Exocetum M40 Block 3 short-range anti-ship cruise system, in response to the Navy's request for information. The Ministry of Defence is ready to sanction 21,738 crore rupees project to build 111 naval utility helicopters in an Indian private sector firm, but an expert appointed by the Department of Defence Production has advised against inducting a foreign helicopter as a naval utility helicopter, when Hindustan Aeronautics is in a position to supply a naval version of its indigenous Dhruv advanced light helicopter. HAL executives have said that HAL does not possess technology for foldable blades for the naval helicopter, but has promised that the foldable blades can be developed in three years. The chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics has said that HAL is interested in designing and manufacturing a new twin-engine fighter jet for the Navy, which could see competing proposals from Hindustan Aeronautics and Aeronautical Development Agency as the Aeronautical Development Agency have recently proposed the Orca twin-engine fighter jet for carrier operations, and has asked for nearly 13,000 crores from the Indian Navy and Defence Ministry to cover the developmental cost. The Congress has alleged that the Modi government is making changes in the procurement rules, so that Adani Defence can be allowed to participate in the 45,000 crore rupees project with zero submarine building experience, as the Indian Navy's high-powered committee has found the company ineligible for the submarine deal. The Defence Acquisitions Council meeting that was slated for the 17th of December has been postponed till 21 January, and a decision will be made soon whether the joint venture of Hindustan Shipyard and Adani Defence will be cleared to bid in the programme.